Hi everyone. Welcome to EISB Meal 4, 4 Minute Videos. In this video I am going to explain you about Mule Debugging and will show you the Mule Debugger and explain you each tab. Open any point studio and open your design flow. To set the breakpoints for your flow, right click on connector and select toggle breakpoint. By this your flow will stop at this toggle breakpoint, set another breakpoint. You'll have a separate window for the Mule Debugger. Now right click on canvas and run your project in debugger mode. You can see that the Mule downloading the required artifacts from the Maven repository. A new windows pops up for your confirmation to change the Mule designer into debug mode, click on yes. Mule debugger perspective divided into runtime variables which have all the runtime variables and values, designer window which is a replica of the designer perspective, console to show you the server logs, breakpoints list which have the list of breakpoints and a window for ambient test cases status. Now you can see the Mule debugger window where you can see your design flow, ambient tab, console and which you can observe that the application is deployed successfully. Mule breakpoints tab which shows you the list of configured breakpoints that we set and the Mule palette. Now open Postman and send a request to the HTTP server to start your flow. Once you click on send you won't get the response because we set the breakpoints in the flow. Open Studio, you can see that the flow is stopped at the toggle breakpoint. You can observe that the runtime attributes and variables in the upper tab. Now go to the upper right toolbar section where you can find the button continue the flow. Once you click on it you can dot our flow forwarded a step to longer. Now you can able to see the attributes of the read connector which are creation time, file name, path, file size and payload of the read connector. Now click on next process and you can see the attributes and variables of write connector. You can see the logger printed message in the console and success message in the postman. That's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries please reach us at meal4beta at eiesb.com.